What if you knew you were about to die and you had time to impart just one slice of wisdom upon your kids? What would it be? Hello, I'm Julian Northbrook from doingenglish.com. Imagine that you are about to die and you know you're gonna go. You've got time to impart just one slice of wisdom upon your children so that they can live a more fulfilling life in the future after you have uh, become worm food. What would it be? For me, the answer to that question is simple. I would repeat the words of the great, the one and only Earl Nightingale. Watch what everyone else does, he said, and now do the opposite. The majority are always wrong. And you know what? He's right. In whatever it is that you are doing, the majority are the ones who are failing, quitting, giving up, getting poor, mediocre, crappy results. And if you look at what they are doing and do the same as they are doing, you will get the same results. Therefore, if you want to get different results, you've got to do something different. Do a 180 and do what they are not doing. I mean, take, for example, the standard English improvement advice. Get a teacher or a practice partner and practice until you get good. And it sounds great on paper until you realize that there's a whole list of reasons why it just doesn't work for the vast majority of people. Not least because a teacher is trained to understand your English, no matter how crap it is, and they are trained to be easy for you to understand, no matter how crap your comprehension skills are. Well, that's great for having a conversation with that specific person, but when you go out into the real world, it's a very, very different thing. Just because you can have a conversation with your trained and easy to understand teacher does not mean you're gonna have a clue what the vast majority of people are on about in real life. Practice partners come with the same kind of problem. It's easy, it's familiar, it's comfortable. And you know what? The real world ain't any of those things. The real world is a harsh dog-eat-dog place. And just because you can have a conversation partner conversation about what you did at the weekend doesn't mean you're gonna be able to negotiate a billion dollar deal for your company. That's an extreme example, but you get the idea. So I say, fuck practice, do that 180, do what the others aren't doing. Learn the language that you need and get out there right now into the real world and do real things that actually matter with your English. Chuck yourself in the deep end and improve, you shall. If you want my help to do that, your first port of call is right here, doingenglish.com. Head over there, stick your email address in the box provided and sign up for my free daily emails designed to help you, the intermediate to advanced English learner, to speak better English in whatever real world situations it is that you speak English. At 8 a.m. island time every single day, an email from yours truly is gonna hit your inbox. Open it, read it, take action. And with that, this is me, Julian Northbrook, signing out from another video. Tell us down in the comments, what would be your number one slice of wisdom? Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, thumbs up if you hated it, and I'll see you, my friends, in the next one. Bye-bye.